This is a Thunder Game Report. Hi, I'm Randy Renner at Chesapeake Energy Arena, where the Thunder have lost for the first time this season, losing 104-98 to Toronto. The Raptors have now won four consecutive road games. Thunder just had trouble shooting the basketball tonight. They shot just 37%. Their defense was good. They held Toronto to less than 40% shooting, and when the Thunder do that, they usually win. In fact, tonight's loss just the second time in two seasons that they have lost when holding a team to under 42%. But uh, Thunder, a tough night tonight against a really a pretty good Toronto ball club. We talked to Scott Brooks after the game and a very disappointed Kevin Durant. I think you got to um, just start off with give, give Toronto some credit. I thought they did a good job of just hanging around in that second half. And when we got up on, uh, I think we got up by 11, they just hung around and made it, made it a game and took the lead at the end. But I thought, I thought our defense was good. You know, we held them to 39% uh, going into that fourth quarter, and then they got hot, um, and then we couldn't make any shots in that fourth quarter. But it doesn't, doesn't happen to us often where we can get up on a, a team by 11 and lose the lead, especially on our home floor. So um, we'll get better from it and move on and move on to the next game. Scott, did you feel like, you know, when you got up 11, did you feel like you guys kind of relaxed a little bit so I can not have a back-to-back, -back, or is that just an easy excuse? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's a, I mean that, you can use that excuse, and I think every team can use that excuse. There's so many times that you play back-to-backs, but we, we don't use that as an excuse. I thought when we got up 11, we, were, we made some shots, but we, were really held, we really built that lead through our defense of energy and effort. And... And then in the fourth quarter, we could not make shots. And then they started getting hot, and it just kind of the tables turned on that. But uh, since the trade, you know, they're four and one. And we knew going into this game that they have uh, they have some tough matchups. They have guys that can play, and they have good size and good athleticism on on the perimeter. Uh, but they they made uh, they made enough plays down the stretch, and you know we didn't. Nick Gallo, ThunderDiamond.com. Coach, specifically in the third quarter, what was working on defense there? What, what were you able to do to them to, to get them out of sorts? Well, I thought I thought when when Ta or um, when KD switched up on DeRozan, it really gave us the, the energy that we needed to get stops on the defensive end. Um, and then everybody, I thought KD's defense inspired us in that third quarter, and then we started making shots, and then we made some threes. Uh, we got a lot of open looks tonight, a lot of open threes that we did not make. Um, that's, you know, you live with that. Our defense gave us a chance to, to stay in the game. You know, we, we had a chance to, I think we tied it up with a minute to go or so. And then we got the tough break on the, the, the foul on KD. But that's part of the game. You know, you, we, had a, we had a great little streak going at home. Um, now we just have to go on, go on the road and, and get a win. Josh Kopelman, WWS the Sports Animal. Coach, uh, what did you tell your team after this game? Just told the team that, you know, you guys, we've, we've done a great job this early spart start of the season. We've done a great job protecting our home court. Give them credit. I said give them credit. They, they played a good basketball game. You know, they, they hung around and they won it at the end. Um, there's nothing to be ashamed of if you got good effort. And we got good effort. They, we kept them under 40%. Um, in that third quarter, I mean that fourth quarter, we just we made we missed a lot of shots that we look back on the film, we can live with them. Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma and Scotty Perry Jones played well in the first half. Down the stretch, you had him back in the game. Tell us what you were thinking with that. Uh, I think just the, his his length. You know, he's you know six ten, athletic, long arm. He can you know he's like the guy that I think about on our team. It can be our utility defender. You know that they're. they're they're, um, they're athletic all, all across the board. DeRozan, Sammons, um, Ross. So they had a lot of athletic wings, and I felt that his length could affect some of their shots. I thought he did a good job. He came in and got the, got the, the BOB play, and he got fouled on and made the two free throws. He contested a couple of shots. I thought he gave us great minutes tonight. That Celtics mid-80s record, is there any serious perspective on how amazing that type of record is? 
Well, that that's an amazing record. I mean, any anytime you can win 40 home games in a 41 game home season, that's I mean, you don't go into the season and mark that down on your your calendar. We just go and play every game and do the best that we can and, and focus on every game and hopefully we can get a, a our fair share of wins. But I, I like their guys' effort tonight. I mean, we did have a a good win last night. We came back and you know. We just didn't make shots in the fourth quarter, and we gave up them. We gave them too many easier or easier looks than we did in the third quarter. Does this game show the the value that Reggie's gotten all of a sudden? He's one for eleven. It seemed like it'd be hard for you guys to win a game when when somebody like Reggie goes one for eleven. Well, I, I think we had a few guys that that has been stepping up all season making shots. We had a lot of open three. J Jeremy, I thought, had great looks. He had eight shots, and I thought all of them were had a chance to go in with the with his feet set and, and, and looks. And Reggie, he had a lot of good looks. He's, he's been making his three this year, and he, he hasn't had a game like this. I don't know if he's that, even had a game like this in the last uh, uh, this season and then bits of last season. He's played good basketball for us. Um, one for 11, it's something that we're, we're not we're not worried about. He's going to come back and bounce back and play much better the next night. I mean, it's, the losses happen in this league. I mean, we, they beat us fair and square, you know. We've we missed some shots, too. I mean, I think our defense was good. They got some shots late in the, in the fourth quarter that, you know, helped them a little bit. But I think our defense was good. We were swarming them, and, they, you know, they hit some tough ones, too. But we, we missed some, some good looks. Defense in the third quarter seemed to change the game around a little bit. What was working for you guys there? I mean, we... We just got into the ball. We made him shoot tough shots all night, and we held him to 39 percent shooting. But we just couldn't make shots on the other end, you know. But that's, sometimes that's the name of the game. You know, we just you gotta take this loss on the chin and move on. You, you said that losses happen, but do you think it was an energy issue with you guys? I mean, uh, let's yeah, talk about that. You, you thought you said you missed a lot of shots. You think you got good shots, you just didn't fall, or? You didn't get a good enough shots. Oh, uh, we got good shots, you know. Uh, we missed some layups. We missed some. I know I missed like five wide open threes. You know, we missed some stuff at the rim. Uh, you know, but their defense, you know, they make you they make you shoot those, those those jump shots. They gave us wide open shots. You know, it was their shots, so we just got to make them. Uh, but it is what it is. Perry got some crunch time minutes and hit some big free throws. How good is it to see a young guy like that get his opportunity? You know, Spanish only going to help him, and um, he was good, you know. So um, hopefully, you know, he's learned from everything, and, you know, uh, we just get better from it. Hit the Knicks in the garden on Christmas Day. What do you expect from that, that kind of stage and everything? It's a privilege to play on Christmas, you know. It's going to be fun. KD there at the end, alluding to that game coming up Christmas Day in New York City. The Knicks have really been struggling lately. The Thunder will be in New York for Christmas Day against the Knicks and then going to Charlotte before coming back here for a huge game a week from tonight against James Harden and the Houston Rockets. Durant was also talking about the tough night that everybody had shooting the basketball. He was 5 for 16. Reggie Jackson just one for 11 and missed to all five of his three-point shots. He hasn't had a night like that this season yet. It was just one of those nights for the Thunder. They lose it 104 to 98. We'll keep updating things. Check back right here on thundergameReport.com.